Hey guys, and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of Post for Nem, and he has been there for a very, very long time now. Should we go over and have a hello? No, I don't think we will. I want to show you this board of stuff that I've been working out. So as you guys know, we've kind of done with the bees, but we've got this Mutatron still just kind of sat here and we're still making more mutagen. So I thought maybe we might want to, I don't know, make some lapis bees. But as you can see, we are a long way off of doing that. So I thought to open the episode, we might come on in here, grab ourselves a cultivated princess and a common drone I had to try and remember what it was I was looking for now I should have a cultivate uh, sorry a common common let this one this is a common common let's use this one we will pop these in here and wait for just a few seconds are oh, taking all that power that is amazing uh, this is why I like having power on standby in my machines because I do dislike just standing around and waiting and we've got a diligent queen look at as as simple as that we have done the first sign up there now I want to come in here and go hey what uses have we got here so we can mix it with a noble to get an ancient. We can mix it with a wintry to get frigid. Uh, what else? Excited forest. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. The two waters. Uh, rocky, that's also unfortunate. Valiant, uh, unweary, meadows, white princess. So what I'm not seeing is common. Ah, there's the common right there. So what I'm trying to do is figure out what I can mix with the diligent to not not let it mutate. Because obviously I want to get a good rolling stock of diligent on the go. Give me a second to check my bee stores and I will be back with the decision and putting it into a bee house over there. Okay, it sounds a little weird, but the bee we're going to use is the Imperial drone. Because it doesn't uh, do any of the... Uh, crossbreeding. Now, we're not going to put them on the apiary because that will allow all sorts of weird things to happen. What we're going to do is pop them back here. Let's get this majestic drone out of here. Who needs that? And we're just going to let this tick over. Okay, the next thing I want to do is actually a part of the quest book. As I promised last time, we're going to get on with this big power. Now, we need reactor controller, reactor control rod, the power tap. Now, th these are things that actually have a lot of stuff within them. Uh, thankfully, a lot of them aren't that um, advanced, but uh, more than a few are. You'll note that I've also got a new teleport pad here. I finally did it. I, I bit the bullet and made myself a little way station at my science room. But we're going to come down to the computer cave, where I've got a whole load of stuff already set up. Now, almost all these big reactor um, recipes are based off of reactor casings. Now, thankfully, not too difficult to make. I made graphite literally by cooking charcoal, by cooking charcoal to graphite. Still, we know how to make, and eulorium is smelted up uh, uranium. So I'm going to take that re reactor casing. Now, the next thing we want to do is the reactor controller. Now, this is full of lots of weird stuff. Screens, which we've seen how to make just over there. Um, not wrong one. We've got an atomic alloy power management tool and the casings. Now, there are two things we are missing here. If I come in to have a look, the central processing unit, tier three, whoa, and a power monitor. Now, the central processing unit I have just up here, these things were, like, heavy to make. I had to go and find a whole load of emeralds, the algorithmic logic unit, they're, they're not the easiest things to make. The same with these control units. It's not difficult, but it's just a lot of work. These tier 3 microchips, you remember last episode I told you I was completely out of microchips? Well, I'm up to two stacks again. I did a lot of crafting in between episodes. So we're going to take the central processing unit and also up here, we have the power monitor now the only thing we don't know how to make here is this conduit probe uh, and i should actually have a bit of video of me making this so that's pretty cool so i'm going to take these two things pop them down below and make us our reactor controller oh yeah this is like one of the major components that we need. I'm also going to just grab a whole load of those because they're going to be needed in a bit this um 
reactor control rod. This is what controls how much in, uh, output is coming through, how quickly the fuel gets used up. Uh, we know how to make all of this stuff here. Silver ingots, advanced control circuit, and reactor casing. Oh, yes. Coming on a little bit further, we've got the power tap. Obviously, once we've made this uh, like nuclear power generator, we're going to need a way of getting the power out of there. Now, these end uh, energetic alloys, we, didn't actually, we haven't actually made any of these before, but it's just vibrant alloy in amongst the conduit binder, so I didn't really think we had to go through that again and over here we have the eulorium fuel rod this is obviously the bit that gets like super hot and then we use that the heat of that reaction to make electricity this is actually everything we need for this quest okay i'm going to get some more reactor casings uh, and some uranium here because reactor casing is relatively easy to make <sighs> mm, thinking about it the reactor casings also contain uh, steel and graphite as well as uranium, so I'm, I'm gonna do that instead. All right, cool. Now, I was kind of expecting other things to come popping out of the bottom here. I don't know what they are, so let's have a little read. Now that you can produce large amounts of power, it's time to find good use for it. The first step is to make some laser pre-chargers to convert, them in, to convert that power into laser light. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult. And over here, you can get even more power out of that big reactor using it to make steam instead of direct power. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That can be used to turn the turbine. This will greatly multiply the power you can get from your fuel supply. A turbine controller, turbine rotor bridge. I know nothing about these. So let me go away, do some research, and I will be back to figure out what, what we're doing here. So it looks like the turbines are actually a lot of work. And whilst we could go ahead and do that straight away, I thought the first thing we'd do is put a small reactor down to just get a bit of power on the go. I, power has been a little bit of an issue recently. Actually, do I want to... Yeah, I think I might want to dig this down. A, ooh... Ooh, decisions already. So yeah, power's been a little bit of a problem at the moment. No, I'm gonna just build it on the surface. So I would like to get this up and running so I could have a little backup on the go. Get out of here, you little robot. And maybe I could then get another reactor over there making steam for the turbines uh, and have like a massive power generation unit on the go. But I thought something like this would be good to get going with so we definitely want the controller on the front and we also want to have the power tap over this side because i'm going to end up 
shunting all the power over to this cube here. Now, we need something else. We do need an access port. Word on the street is it's better with two, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. Uh, I could use all sorts of glass and stuff like that in this build to make it super fancy, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to put the fuel rod there. I'm not going to do that until we've got to a larger build, of course. And hopefully, when I do this... Yeah, did you see that all change there? That's cool. I'm not sure if I've put these close enough. You know what, there is absolutely no need to have it next to that turret anymore. So let's move this. This turret, great idea by the way. Um, definitely helped keep me safe. So we'll pop it down this way and on the back here. Oh, I can't... Is it blue to accept? I don't know. We'll try that. If it blows up, we'll know that there's something wrong. Okay, status offline. Auto eject the waste. Uh, waste must be manually objective. No, activate reactor. Let's have a look at some of the other buttons first. I want to have a look at this. Okay, we're in eject fuel, eject waste. Uh, on inlet mode at the moment, if we put it onto outlet mode, it will give us the uh, cyanite or something like that. Uh, nothing really to worry about right now. Not in this system anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some fuel in. There we go. It went straight away. Uh, how, how, how do I want to do that? I really fancy putting this just a little bit distant. Something, something like this, I think. And then if needs be, we can we can work it out elsewise. Okay, activate that reactor. What's going on here? Everything's going all right. I don't know what dangerous heat levels are. Uh, it's it's going to get hot here myself, of course, but that's nothing really to worry about. The real question is, is this receiving power? It's not. Probably a... Uh, something to do with the configuration. There we go. Put it onto the right one. We are getting power. All right, nice, sweet. So the reactor is turning over. We don't seem to be gaining any more heat or any more cool uh, core heat. That's the important thing. Uh, the core fuel status. We could put another rod in there. Um, obviously, it's meant for four, not three. That's totally fine. We're getting 16 millibuckets, 17 millibuckets of waste. Okay, when, when we get round to needing to empty the waste. I will be back here to look at that. But now I think we're going to have to start thinking about how I can hook up all my power units together. Oh, look, guys, we've already used up an entire ingot of Eulorium here, but I have been looking into ways to transfer power, and I think the thing I'm going to use is the, is the Dimensional Traveller over here. First off, I don't like the word dimension being applied to, like, another realm of existence, because dimension is up, down, left, right. I mean, if we go have a look here, look, you see the, uh, the X, Y, Z here. Their dimensions, not not this like other realm business. But anyway, that little ran over. Having a look at the dimensional traveler, the ender resonator not too hard to make. The octactic a little bit more difficult, but I think we can get there. The thing that's going to cause us a few issues is we need these soul vials full of ender essence, I suppose, to mix with the vibrant crystal to get the ender crystal. Now, we want at least three of these, I think. Thinking about it, we got one at the bees, one on the science floor. Maybe we want one on this floor as well. I don't know. We at least want a few to get going with. I've also written up here a few other things that I want. So, Blitz. The reason I want Blitz is if we come into the, the, this stuff, the gelid cryothium, cry, cryothium? I don't know how that's pronounced. Anyway, we need a whole load of stuff here, including blitz powder, to make it work. Oh, it's just a double Z, not a T. Oh, well, lols. Uh, so we need to capture one of those. We also need to try and find ourselves a pink slime, because to do the laser quest... In fact, let's just have a look inside the thing here. We need this laser drill precharger, which needs a pink slime crystal, which you do from cooking a pink slime block, which you only really get from pink slime balls. And if you just go through, I can't, I can't craft them at all. So we need a watermelon slime somewhere along the line. Uh, skeletons, we need some bones, because if we come in to the civilization quest line, this is the one that I want to do next episode, is to do all these uh, animal quests, you generally need bone and string and protein and stuff like that. So I definitely could do with the skeleton. The bone is in for all of them. And whilst... 
No, I, and I don't have any bones whatsoever. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this little chest over here. Oh, if I can hold my mouse properly, we can have a look. And I've got six, uh, 15 soul vials. It's also the middle of the night. So I think what we're going to do is go out and have a look around. We're mainly looking for zombies and endermen, as I say. But we will see what we can get. It's a very quiet night for spawning so far. I think we've got a guy over there who can be used. Yeah, let's let's go and have a look at that zombie. Is he a traditional zombie? Is he a different type of zombie? We're going to capture him and find... Oh, it's a creeper. Oh, there's a creeper. Okay, the zombie is coming towards us anyway. Do we want to capture a creeper? I don't think we do. There's a skeleton over that way. Or at least there was on my map a second ago. Is he a giant zombie? I don't know. We caught him anyway. The creeper we're going to blow up. No need to keep hold of him. And let's go find a skeleton or two. Okay, there, there are a couple of skeletons down there. It might be a little bit difficult to take them both on. So I think what I'm going to do is kill one of them and take on the other. Uh, him in the water I'd like to take out, actually. But anyway, we will go over and have a look. In fact, there is an entire pack of them over there. If we can grab someone's attention... No, they're not going to play ball for us. Ah, he is now. Okay, is he going to die? This is the question. Is he gonna die? Twitch Yongi Five coming up. It kind of his white, uh, his yellow light eyes made me jump a little bit. But okay, let's go down, grab him, run away. Uh, okay, he's right on my tail. This is no problem. Twitch Yongi Five, please get out of the way. Do you not realise how much trouble you are in if we do that? Uh, oh, ah, come here, die, little guy. Yeah, what did we just pick up off of him? Ah, it's a skeleton skull. Okay, and. Got another zombie. I could do with a zombie. It's a plague zombie, but we'll grab him anyway. Okay, cool. No Enderman yet. I mean, I know we can summon Enderman with that little scare Ender over there, but that just ah, it's not quite what I want to do. All right, let's 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 go for a bit of a wander this way, shall we? Okay, what have we got here? Is he a real zombie or is he a plague zombie? I think he's a real zombie. He says just zombie, so we'll grab him. Brilliant. Um, and this guy here. Now, the reason I'm collecting zombies, I realise I didn't really tell you guys beforehand, is I want to make some powered spawners, hence for the pink slime, the skeletons and stuff like that. And to do that, and let's have a quick look here. It's probably not a good idea to do this in the middle of the um, darkness here, but we need a Franken zombie, which literally means a zombie vial and a Zed-logic uh, Z logic controller to make one. So... I think we're going to have to try and make a zombie spawner to get enough zombies. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how that would, that would work, whether we can capture them in the soul vial if we have caught them from a spawner. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. So this is interesting. I've just gone over the hill from my mob spawner here, and not only is there a skeleton down there, which we got... Oh, hey, hey, go, get out of here. Don't think you can come up on me and creep like that. Wow, I will not be having it. But look, there's a village over there, and... Villagers normally mean we can go and have some fun, loot some stuff, try and get some broken pigman spawners, because they're one of the things we really need to get on with some of our quests. What have we got over there? Zombies and stuff, that's all good. I kind of just want to take that guy out before I get too close, because spiders can be a bit of a ha- Oh, wow. Look how much damage this guy takes. Why is he taking so much damage? Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, what, what have we got going over here? Do I really want to go running in there before... Oh, hey. Are you a real zombie? Are you called a real zombie or are you a giant zombie? You're a giant zombie. We can we can deal with that. We'll deal with that. Uh, we're going to find out whether those sort of things can go into the spawner boxes or not. Okay, we've still got a fair bit of night to go, so I'm going to carry on roaming around. Maybe check out this island over here and we'll check the zombies out in the morning. Uh, the village out in the morning. Okay, that's him taken care of. Another zombie coming out. Plague zombie, not really what I'm after, but, you know, we can deal with him at some point. I'm just, like, bottling up everything that I come across here so that we can deal with it at some point or t'other. Maybe we'll put our own village out here. This is nice loads of space and stuff. Um, they could even be based around a pond, maybe, if we put them on that one. A little swampland village. I don't, I don't know which culture would go well in the swampland. Maybe the Normans? Maybe. Oh, hey! Let's uh, deal with you. Where did I go? I only went back a few blocks. That's okay. It's always interesting, particularly when they teleport you underneath. I've not seen that guy before. Who are you? Who are you? What What do you do? Can we shoot him and find out? Uh, I, I probably could shoot him, but I am such a terrible shot. Uh, this guy... Look at this. Is that oil? 
That's actually oil there, isn't it? Okay, we'll go try and take advantage of that at some point. I wasn't aware that oil was in this world, Jen. You know, you would have thought it was a resource that the uh, before people would have taken advantage of. Uh, maybe... Uh, maybe using my sword isn't what I should be doing here. Uh, he's going to kind of set on fire down there, isn't he? Or something silly like that. Who's making the pss noises? Look, this guy's taking damage. That, that's crazy. It must be because of the oil. What? Ah, get out of it! Oh, wow. That felt a little bit laggy. But the sun is coming up, so let's go around and deal with a few things now, shall we? Let's kill him. Cool. Okay, single little hut on its own. We should have no problem here. Let's just burn off some uh, some calories getting over there. Do I want to just go in with the pickaxe? Now, I'm fairly sure, if I remember correctly, the box is actually under here somewhere. Let's get into it. Broken spawn out. All right, cool. That is what we wanted. Uh, are there any more around? I don't think so. I think this is just the single building here. Uh, Pam's Harvest Craft Sink, pretty normal. Anything in the furnace? No. Uh, lots of stuff to get out of the box, though. This is nice. Another copy of the Ender. I don't think we're after that. In fact, looking around, there's not a great deal that I am after. Okay, next village could be a little bit tougher. There seems to be more buildings back there, but there are a lot around this way. So I think what I'm going to do first is come into the back of this tent and see if I can't take it out that way. Those stairs are going to be awkward. If I end up with more than two pigmen after me at any one time, I will just end up teleporting away. I still have full charge in my ender here. Uh, would have been nice to put it in my pickaxe as well, actually. Okay, so I can see it underneath the chest. Let's just try and get at it, shall we? Cool. Did that not give it to me? Ah, it is going to give it to me. It was there. I've got it now. Okay, cool. Do we want to check these other buildings out? I think we might. Let's just try and find the spawners. Uh, again, I believe it's this one. Yeah. Okay, racking up those spawners like you would not believe. Awesome. And then this end one here. Okay, cool. Love that I know where those things are. Could have been a lot worse. I'm going to take the axe because I keep running out of axe in my tree farm. Loads of books and quills. Steak, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Diamonds and emeralds. What are we going to drop to get that? I think the... Oh, no. The string. The string is what's going to go. Why am I carrying a bee with me? All right. No, no bother. I'm going to head back home. And we're home as quick as that. All right, awesome. Right, one thing that I want to do before we actually go inside is throw away this and throw away the spider's eye. I think we're going to do the diligent and unweary as long as things have grown. There are definitely some diligence here, but let's go and check the unweary box. Ah, still always waiting for them to turn over. So for you uh, post finem veterans out there, is there a reason I can't take this skeleton and put it in the broken spawner? I'm, I'm just not sure what's going on there. That that was something I was kind of hoping to finish up. But we have some other things that we can do before we totally finish up this episode. The first one is to make one of these uh, vibrant crystals here so that we can actually pop that in here with the Enderman. That's going to tick away and hopefully make us a... Well, it's going to make us an Ender Crystal. In here I have an Ender Resonator. What else was it we needed? An Octactic Capacitor. Now, thankfully, I have gone ahead and made a whole load of conductive... Uh, sorry, energetic alloys here. So if we take six of those out... Now, in here we should have six more. That's brilliant. So we can make some of those. Need to wait on the Vibrant Alloy and hopefully somewhere... Oh, I do not have enough phosphorus for glowstone. Let's go and get some from underground, shall we? Gotta have a quick sleep first. Sleep is always good when you're going underground, because underground causes insanity. So I've been doing a little bit more digging this way. Oh, there's a cave here that I've not lit up. This could lead to all sorts of problems, so I'm just going to run up there and do that quickly. Uh, there is all sorts of stuff down here that I've not been picking up, mainly the glowstone, because, you know, it's nice to have glowstone in your tunnel. So I'm going to just... Uh, break that one. Oh, 
went down a little bit too far. We've got, oh, actually only three bits of glowstone. So I'm going to have to come along and break this one as well. There is a beehive around here somewhere. I'd like to take advantage of that if I can. I'm not sure exactly where it was. Let's get back to the science room. All right, that's nice and easy. So we do our little bit of glowstone here, grab our six vibrant alloys. Uh, and now I actually needed two double layer capacitors as well, right? Oh, yeah. Back down here looking for 12 bits of glow glowstone dust for those uh, double layer capacitors. Should be nice and easy. Though I mean, we're all already at eight. And if I just carry on breaking these... 12. All right. Awesome. I'm going to grab a few more for luck. Well, you know, to actually cover any eventuality. Nothing to do with luck at all. Okay, so in here, we should be able to start making a whole shed ton of energetic alloys. Thankfully, I've got a load of redstone here. That's the Octactic as well. What did we have to fit in the middle again? It was the Ender Crystal, which thankfully should be all the way over in this no this machine <laughs> i know where i'm looking do do not question my gaming skills okay the next thing we want is some fused quartz and some electrical steel these are things that we just keep kicking around thankfully all right maybe i don't have the fused quartz kicking around but we do have some things kicking around just going to wait for this to cook up and pa -pow! Dimensional Traveler. Now, where am I going to put that? I'm actually thinking of replacing this generator with it because that puts it right next to the uh, capacitor and I'll get some sort of readout for what's going on. So let's do that. I might move this sterling generator up a bit, uh, but let's put it there. Okay, cool. We are going to go to electricals. This is the uh, science room. Uh, that, that's totally the capitalization i wanted okay cool we're gonna add that as a channel now we receive from the reactor is that is that how we do it is that how we do it i'm not i'm not entirely certain um maybe send from the science room. i'm not i'm not sure i'm not sure we will go and check downstairs i should have actually checked the wiki for the gui on this one find out what's going on there Okay, so I've got it going up there. We are receiving from the reactor, which is what we wanted to do today. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this hot and sweaty adventure. Uh, I will see you next time where we're going to roll out the dimensional transceiver across the entirety of my base and hopefully do something about these little sweat beads that I constantly have around me. That's why we wanted to make all these spawners. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! I just pulled out a load of protein. Woo!